Hey guys, it's Wendy. Welcome back to my vid- oh wait, channel. <laughs> so for today's video, we're gonna be recreating true crime scenes and the Minecraft universe, I guess you can say. Minecraft game. How this is gonna work is I'm just gonna take a crime scene photo that I found online from this case that we're gonna be talking about. And I'm gonna try my best to attempt to recreate it in the Minecraft game. I used to be a gamer back in my day when I was like seven maybe. So I did play Minecraft a little bit, but it's been a while. So I have no idea how this is gonna turn out. Hopefully it turns out all right, but we'll see because I am a little rusty. Before we get started, I want you to thank the sponsor of this video, ExpressVPN. ExpressVPN helps me find new cases every single day by being able to access streaming services all over the world. ExpressVPN has over 90 countries to choose from, so whenever I don't have anything new to watch, I just switch to a new country and it unlocks new shows. Go ahead and start using ExpressVPN by using the link below in the description box or by going to expressvpn.com slash wendy where you can get an extra three months free on a one-year package. So once again, Thank you ExpressVPN for sponsoring this video. I do have to put a disclaimer at the beginning of this video just because we'll be talking about eating disorders. So if that's something you don't want to hear about, please feel free to exit out from this video. All right, so let's finally get started. So today we'll be talking about the Brooke Skyler Richardson case and she actually goes by Skyler, not Brooke. So I'm going to be referring her as Skyler throughout the video. Also for reference, I'm going to be recreating Skyler's house. So this is how it looks and that's what our goal is going to be for today. Skylar had a very normal upbringing other than the fact that she did struggle with an eating disorder but other than that her family seemed like a perfect family. She has a brother and both of them were very athletic so Skylar was actually a cheerleader for her school but because she was a cheerleader and more specifically a flyer this played a big role on her eating disorder because since her position was being a flyer that meant she had to be the tiniest person basically on her team and because of this this made her develop bulimia and according to Skylar's parents like they really try to get her the help she needed but that can be up for the bait and we'll get more into that later but regardless Skylar's parents were worried but that fear started to go away when Skylar started dating this kid Brandon and her parents saw that Skylar was super happy and she was gaining weight so they figured that everything was actually like all right and that she had it under control basically but because Skylar's and and Brandon's relationship was starting to get more serious. Skylar's mom figured it was probably a good idea to take Skylar to the clinic just so she can get on some birth control and Skylar agreed to this. So then one day Skylar and her mom went to the clinic but Skylar was the only one that entered the examination room and this is where it takes a turn. So Skylar originally went so she could get some birth control right. Well it turns out the doctor was like I'm sorry Skylar but I can't give you the birth control because you're actually pregnant and you're going to be due soon. So obviously Skylar started to cry and she begged a doctor to prescribe her with some birth control or else her mom would know something is wrong. And guess what? The doctor did. The doctor gave her birth control. I truly don't know why they did it. Like this was just not a good move on them. And before Skylar left, she said she was going to be back in two weeks just to have a follow-up appointment. So after this, Skylar told no one about her pregnancy. And like at this point, I think she was eight months pregnant. Like she was ready to have a baby really soon and then weeks later Skylar ended up giving birth to her daughter in her own bathroom and according to Skylar the baby was stillborn and because of this she decided it would be best for her to bury her baby in the backyard of her house and the next day you would think after she gave birth to her daughter in secret in her own bathroom there would be something noticeably off like her mood or something but apparently the next day she seemed completely normal went to school everything was fine and that was until two months later when police showed up at Skylar's house to take her in for questioning. And this was because the clinic called them about Skylar's pregnancy and how she never came for her follow-up appointments. And there's also a rumor going around that Skylar had a baby and buried it. So this was also very concerning to the police. So then Skylar has to go in for questioning. Skylar confessed basically right away, but she would always say that she never killed the baby and that it was born stillborn. So when Skylar could finally see her parents, she told them that she gave birth to a girl and that she named her Annabelle and that the father wasn't her current boyfriend Brandon it was actually her ex-boyfriend Trey 
And this is where the case becomes super messy because since the only one who was there when Skylar gave birth was Skylar herself, nobody actually knows what is the truth or not. Because right now, the police are thinking that Skylar killed her baby or was the baby actually still born? Like nobody knows what's going on. So during this time, the police dug out the baby's remains from Skylar's house just to see if there was any evidence of like foul play or if they could figure out if it was actually like a stillborn just to see if they could get any answers. So then police later on questioned Skylar again and asked if she had burned her baby because apparently when they dug out the remains, the baby's leg seemed to be burnt and at first Skylar said no that that never happened she would have never done that but because the police kept pushing her and pressuring her this led her to change her story and she said yes she did try to cremate her baby and because of the police trying to pressure her and like push her into giving them the answers they wanted this actually caused Skylar to change her initial story and she said maybe the baby was alive because she heard some sort of gurgling but it turns out the baby was actually never burned so when it was time for trial Skylar's lawyer used this as a strong argument saying that the police just pressured Skylar into saying whatever they wanted her to say just so it would make it seem that she did kill her baby. So this case was really messy in general because now you're having that the police are pressuring this girl to confess something she didn't do but then since Skylar was the only one there like was the baby really born stillborn? Like there's a lot of variables in this equation I guess you can say and people also argue that Skylar's mom knew that Skylar was pregnant because apparently the clinic actually emailed Skylar's pregnancy results to her mom. After that, Skylar's mom texted Skylar asking her like, what was this? They never really said what was the thing that they were talking about. Like people just assume it was the pregnancy results. And also the day after she gave birth, Skylar texted her mom saying that she's so happy she has her tummy back and that she lost 20 pounds and all this stuff. And Skylar's mom just replied back saying, I'm so happy for you, so proud of you. And this is why people wonder if Skylar's parents even really tried to get Skylar the help she needed with her eating disorder. Just because if your child is struggling with an eating disorder, you're not gonna encourage them to lose 20 pounds in such a short amount of time. Or why is your daughter texting you that she's so happy to have her tummy back? Skylar obviously wasn't ready to have a child. She didn't tell anyone. So even if the baby was born healthy, what was she planning on doing with the baby. And that's why like a lot of people just find this case hard to believe that the baby was born stillborn and that Skylar just buried it and that there was no foul play. But at the end, Skylar was found innocent and she only received three years of probation but was released two years early. So yeah, I think this case is actually so crazy and I can't believe it happened. I honestly don't even know what you think just because there could be so many scenarios on how this case could have gone down. But yeah, let me know what you think. I would love to hear your thoughts. Okay, so I'm finally done. This is the front of the house. Look at her, she's kind of cute. This is the back of the house. And this is the fence with flower and the tree. Honestly, I think it looks pretty decent if I do say so myself. So I'm pretty proud of it. But that's it for today. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you liked the video. Make sure to give it a like and subscribe and make sure to follow me on Instagram and TikTok at wendy.mandarin. And I'll see you in the next one. Bye.